see if my quail laid any eggs. Got one egg. One egg so far. Two eggs. Three eggs. Four eggs. The bin low is laying pretty good. Hey y'all, I just got down this little creek right here. Uh, I barely ever fish this creek. I know there's bluegill and perch down here, catfish, gar. So let's see what bites today, all right, y'all? And we'll cook it up. Hopefully I don't hook one of these, one of these little birds. I'm not sure what kind of birds those are. A swift, I think? I don't know, Let y'all let me down, know down in the comments what kind of birds those are. I'm not sure what the heck those are, but it's pretty cool watching them work. Yo, finally, got a good rim there, uh, real pretty one too. He made good bait, I'm gonna cut him up uh, and use him as some catfish bait. Hopefully some catfish in here will bite. I right, got my catfish line out, it's just a head piece of that perch. Next uh, lay down. Some mud right there, mud bank. Uh, see what, see what we can pull up, right? He's not bad. These are like the prettiest fish though, huh? They got like a little light blue, like an ocean blue, right? Orange. Something small, I think. Oh. All right, bluegill. Got a perch. I guess you'd call that a bluegill. Whoa, got a little Popeye right there. See, with perch fishing, I used to do it every day after school. This is a better one here. Oh, this one's real pretty, look at him. Whoa. Wow. Hope y'all can see the colors coming out of this guy. I mean, I think this is called a long ear, right? This is fun, ain't it? Who's going crazy? Now he's a little too small. He's pretty, but a little too small to eat. Throw him back. Had a bad amount for about 15 minutes of actual fishing, I'd say. All right, y'all, I just ended up with about eight or 10 perch. Uh, no catfish, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and they're kind of small perch, but um, doesn't mean you can't eat them. Uh, stay tuned for that, y'all. Uh, Y'all might like this one.
of potatoes boiled down uh until soft i'll make some mashed taters in here it just has a little bit of salt uh, a little bit of garlic that i boiled with it uh, i'm gonna season it up just a little bit more make some mashed taters can't have mashed taters without garlic a little bit of black, black pepper Got some butter right here. Got to have lots of butter for that mashed potatoes to be good. Uh, a little bit more salt. That's mashed potatoes. So I gotta get some, I got some garlic right here, just some fresh minced garlic. I'm gonna cook down some green beans right here. Just add some butter to that. Green beans. Black pepper. Just a tiny bit of salt, not too much salt because the butter is already kind of salted. Bit of Tony's no salt. All right, all good. And I'm gonna set this aside right here. So I got some bacon grease right here, bacon fat uh, from th from this morning. After I cook some bacon, uh, I'll make a quick uh, quick little gravy. Let's go ahead and heat this up real good. Flour. A bit. So I got some regular milk here. Just regular milk. Got to keep stirring it until it thickens up to be a gravy. And right here, you can actually season it if you want. I kind of seasoned the salt um, a little bit later, just so I could, uh, you know, kind of know where it's at, where I, uh, I could taste it and uh, see where it's at. And the secret to any country gravy, right? Everybody should know this. <laughs> I guess it's not a secret, but uh, a lot of black pepper. I mean, I like a lot of pepper in my country gravy. I got it to where I want it. And it'll thicken up when it sits there uh, uh, more. It'll thicken up more if you let it sit there. Uh, it's perfect. Tastes good. Uh, so now I got to fry up that fish. And of course, uh, my go-to Louisiana uh, fish fry. Uh, this, is already this already comes seasoned if you're wondering. So you don't have to add anything extra to this. Gotta be careful doing this when you have them have them whole like this with the, the fin still on. The spines will get you through the bag. Just be careful if you're is this the first time you're trying to do this. Mashed taters, green beans. Some of that country gravy. Oh yeah. Could use a little bit more salt in that gravy, but it, it's it's pretty good. See with that, that fried bluegill. Uh, you could eat the tail, of course. That's one good thing about it, but I don't know what it is about uh, cooking 
fish on the bone it's it's a lot it's a lot better i don't know it just tastes a lot better i mean you gotta pick through the bones and all that but not really a big deal try these mashed taters i know they're i know they're gonna be good oh yeah oh man i'm glad i made extra green beans could use a little bit more salt I'll, i'm gonna add a little bit more salt to it but not a big deal i'll just sprinkle it on top kind of hard filming with one hand and uh, eating with one hand mm, 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 mm. gotta scoop you up some of that mashed potatoes and gravy with that fried fish tail mm. look at that white flaky meat i think bluegill is one of the best eating fish well freshwater fish around right up there with crappie and definitely on the bone they just taste way better on the bone all right, y'all, that's it for the video. I uh, hope y'all like it. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll see y'all soon, all right, y'all?